Hello everyone, my name is John Roper, and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Document. So, let's open up our user preferences, install from file, go to wherever you downloaded the add-on, I got it under my downloads, I already have it installed, just there. Save settings, let's go down in the toolbar, HTML documentation, and you can see we have a number of different options here. So the first is our export path. This is where we want our scene documentation to be exported to. So for right now, I'm going to put it in a new folder on my desktop. I'll just call it web for short. Here, I'll accept. Next is the background color that we want each of our document files to have. So there are a number of different options. I'm just going to uh, choose something I like. Um, Wisteria. Next uh, we have all the options of what we want to include in our documentation files. So the first include info header. This shows some standard information about our scene. Include render example. This shows a rendered example of our scene or a frame from our scene. A frame board, which if we go we can see keyframe or marker and info or one keyframe or marker by line. I'm going to choose keyframe or marker and info. Uh, frame board mode, I'm going to set this uh, to markers and I'll talk about this later. Detailed render settings. Let's turn that on and then let's turn on output info images used and linked files. So if we click export HTML documentation, nothing seems to have happened, but if we open, go to our web browser, go to the page, we see this documentation page.html. We see some stuff here. First of all, file info, uh, documentation for untitled, the date, some file info, Info. Again, it says untitled. The render example says unable to find a render image. We'll fix this stuff. But this is basic documentation. So let's start fixing some of this. First thing we want to do is actually save our file. So let's save. I'm going to name this web. And now the first thing we should see if we hit export HTML documentation again is this is up. Oh, wrong page. We need to open. We now have this web.html. And see now it says documentation for web.blend and the file name is web.blend. Now you can see we have some information here about the scene name, which is still scene, the render engine, which is cycles, the size, the start frame, the end frame, and the frames per second. But the render example still says unable to find a render image. What we have to do, render export we do there we go now you saw we did a big render but it did open gl why was that well that was um, to keep it all in line with the other things that we have in the information here so now that we have this render example we can go down to detailed render settings right now this is pretty much all the render settings that you have and what they're set to. Next, output info. This is all blank, but if we go and choose an output path, I'll just choose my pictures and re-export. You'll see it now says what the global output path is, and also if we have any file output nodes, it will tell them here. Images used. We don't have any images. Let's add some images. So I'm going to go set this to an environment texture and I think I have something here let's choose this guy now if we re-export there we go that was the, the image that I used it says the format the image size and the path linked files just about the same thing link I'm going to grab some sort of an object, re-export, 
and now we see the path that we linked files from. So um, that's that's it. But if you see, we're missing one thing that we set here, which was the frame board, and that's because we have it set to markers or keyframes. It uses markers or keyframes. So we don't have either. So let's add a marker. And the cool thing with this is you can set the the name by going to marker, rename marker, and you can set it to be some sort of text. So I'm going to say hello, hi, hola. Hit OK. And then we can create another one. Um, I'm going to say Blender is awesome. And then, hmm, I didn't actually make one. Oh, because it's, it's still doing the one that I had. Blender is awesome. Let's rename this new one that we created to hello, hi, hola. And then let's create one more marker over here, rename it. I'm going to say this is awesome because I like awesome things. Now, if you see, we have this set to markers. If we hit export, we now see we have this frame board section and it says the camera that we're using if we choose this camera and rename it to something like, actually we need to rename it over here, like hi or something sort of like hi, and export, we can see that that updates there. Now, under the marker info for each of these frames, the frame number, the time, and then the note, which is what we just set for each of those markers. So 73, and 167 and then the actual frame that that's on currently the object isn't moving so we're not seeing anything but if we grab this added a location keyframe grabbed it over here added an another location keyframe and moved it over here if we export again we will see that this is different now because we have the actual frames but this outline here is getting pretty annoying, so what we can do is turn on only render objects, re-export, and there we go, that's gone. So that's pretty much the basics of working with document. Um, Multi-file export, what we can do is we can choose the export path, I'll leave it back on web. We can choose the files directory, I'm going to choose my desktop where I have a bunch of different blend files. And then if we click filter files, um, I only want to create documentation for any file that has test in it. So you could use this to do any file that has the sub name of light or render or something for a bigger production. But where this is just a test, I'm doing test. Export, export, multi-file, HTML documentation. It gives just a little warning because it can be a bit slow because there are many files. Hit OK. It's going to take a second. Again, many files. And then what we can do is once this finishes, you can actually see files being created. If you open this up, you have these pages for each of these files, and it's done now. So what we can do is open up this index.html, and now we have a very nice index of each one of our files. So let's choose um, cloth test, which is the first one. And again, it doesn't have a render image, but it's um, you have to generate the render images. But you have all of this information for each of the files. So that's pretty much it.